All right, welcome to the SAM project uh, 5A. Uh, this is for CAPL 1023. Uh, this is the, again, this is the SAM project one for module five. It's called the Elliott Reed Pharmaceuticals. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We've got this file open. We're going to do a quick save as. And we're just going to, whoopsie, we're just going to save it, uh, change that number one after your name to a number two. All right, and then we are ready to go. All right, so the first step says, um, and make sure you've downloaded those support files. So you're going to need the three support files, the list, quotation, and table. And while we're here, why don't we go ahead and open those? Because I think most of them we're going to have to either copy or create a quick part. So let's go ahead and go File, Open, and I've got them downloaded, so it's going to be this 5A list, 5A quotation, and 5A table. I'm just going to click on the list, hold my Shift key down, click on Table, and then Open, and then you'll see it's going to open all three of those right here. So here's the table, here's the list, and here's that quotation. All right, so we've got all of those open in the background. Just going to make it quicker for us when we actually start doing work. All right, so it says the first step is change the left and right margins to 0.8 to remove this extra white space. So you can see we've got this extra white space around here. So we're just going to keep our insertion point right where it is, right up in, right up here. I'm going to go to our layout tab, margins custom and then we're going to change our left to 0.8 and our right to 0.8 and then OK and you see it takes that white space right out. Alright that's step one. Step two says on page one delete the content control displaying today's date. So here's that date content control. I'm just going to select this one hit backspace key to take it out step and that's again so it's once we've got we hit that backspace key it takes that content control right out so it's if you have a little box here make sure you click it one more time that's like a box that kind of looks like whoa right see just like I did right there so all right All right, there, okay. I hit backspace and then delete and it took it out. All right, and then it says, step three says type Elliot Reed in the company name content control. So company name, we're just gonna click in there and Elliot Reed is E-L-L-I-O-T-T-R-E-I-D. Um, a couple people that did this project after class uh, one afternoon, um, spelled Elliot or Reed incorrectly and it ended up costing them three points like from different steps around here so just make sure you spell this name correctly otherwise it's going to be the difference of an A to maybe a C or a D and again it's all, everything else could be done perfectly just one little misspelling and it blows your whole grade so again it's going to be E L L I O T T R E I D so Elliot Reed is the company name, right? And then we don't have to do anything with your name. We're just going to keep it literally. We're going to keep it your name. Um, if we change anything, you'll lose a point for it. So if you add your name, you'll lose a point. Step four says apply the basic elegant style set. So that's going to be in our design tab. And then here's our style sets right here. If you hover over those, basic elegant is going to be the second or third one yep yeah, it's the second one so hover over it you'll get the screen tip basic elegant we're just going to click on that all right and then it says create custom theme colors and fonts to apply to this report and other Elliot Reed reports so we're going to create step 5a says create a custom theme color so we're going to go up to our colors custom colors and then again it this one says 
it's going to use teal accent 6 as our accent 3 color. So we're going to go to accent 3, click the down pointing arrow, then change that to teal accent 6. And then our hyperlink color, we're going to use green accent 4 as our hyperlink. So green accent 4, that's our hyperlink, and we're going to call it again Elliot Reed, but spell it correctly. Otherwise, you lose the points for it. So E L L I O T T R E I D. Save that. All right, and then we're going to change our font, custom font. So fonts, customize, and then this wants us to do. Uh, Report. So it's going to use Calibri as our heading font. So our heading font is going to be Calibri. And I'm just going to start typing Calibri. And then the body font is going to be Calibri Light. So again, start typing Calibri. And then it will take us right to the alphabetically. And then this custom font will be named Reports with a capital R reports and save it all right and then as you go you can periodically click on your little quick save option to save your progress and it says on page two so we're going to go to page two it says create a new paragraph style for the introduction text so anywhere you're going to click anywhere in this why do consumers choose click anywhere in that paragraph and then it says we're going to call this this style intro but we're going to go whoopsie we're going to go to our style group whoopsie sorry right here and then create a style this thing i can close that thing i can close right, there's more option by your styles create a style we're going to call this style intro and then modify all right and then it says change the spacing before paragraphs so we're gonna come down here to our format option paragraph and the spacing before we're changing that to 12 points so just click that little up arrow two times and then OK and then our font size will be 14 point and we're just going to keep it as that Calibri light and then OK and then it changes that just the spacing for that first paragraph and then you'll notice it says the style applied is that intro which is exactly what we want All right the next step says on page two insert a hyperlink where it says insert email address so we're just going to come down to that insert email address and highlight that text including the little brackets around it and we're going to type in info at er dot cengage dot com and then space and then hit the delete key to, to eliminate the space after that you don't want to hit the space and then the backspace because you'll take out your hyperlink all right, so we've got the hyperlink in there. It's inserted as hyperlink text. The next step says to change. So make sure it says info at hyperlink. So we're going to right click, edit our hyperlink. So make sure that it says mail to info at er.sengage.com. The text to display is info at er.sengage.com. And then we're going to add the screen tip that says Elliot Reed email address. Again, make sure you're spelling it correctly. No period at the end of it. Elliot, read email address. OK. OK. And then just hover over this to make sure it says Elliot, read email address right on that screen tip. All right, so let's go ahead and save our progress as we go. Step number eight, we're almost done with this. It says move row four in the top reasons. So if you look at this, affordability, novelty, brand recognition are all reasons. 
this factor and percentage is a heading actually. So we're just going to come out here to this left margin, get our right pointing selection arrow, click once with our left mouse button, it'll highlight that whole row. We're going to hover over that factor, click and hold with our left mouse button, and it's going to turn into that little box with a black vertical line. We're just going to bring that line directly in front of the word affordability, release, and it's going to add that. It's going to change that. So it's going to add that as our new heading row and all their other stuff below. It's going to be where it should be. All right. And the next step, step nine, says insert a table showing survey results as follows without changing the formatting. So we're going to copy the table in that table. So we're going to come over here, go to our table, hover over this top left corner, Let's click on that little move table option, and then click on copy. We're going to come back over to our document, that Elliot Reed, or that's your name, underscore two, and we're going to come over to this insert table here. Again, I'm just going to come out to this selection pointer, and then in your home tab, clipboard group, we're going to click on that little drop down option and say paste and keep source formatting. All right, so we're going to click on that keep source formatting option to insert that table. Now it says insert a quotation. So let's go to that quotation and we're going to just come out here, select the text from the quotation and copy it. And then it says, insert the quotation here is where we're going to put it. So let's go back and then insert quotation here. Keep source formatting. <clears throat> All right. So we've got our quotation in there. All right. Now the next one. This is going to be a little bit different, so we're going to go to that list. So you can close this table if you want. You can close the quotation if you want, just to get rid of them. We're going to come over to this list. Again, I'm going to come out to my left margin, get my right pointing selection arrow, click and hold with my left mouse button, pull down, and release. Now this time it wants us to create a quick part. So if you remember, we're going to go to our Insert tab, and then in that text group, we're going to choose the option that says Quick Parts. So click on that little drop down for Quick Parts and say Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. And then now here's where we have to name it properly. So it says we're going to use the survey as the name. So right here where it says Name, Consumers Prefer, we're changing that to Survey in our Quick Parts Gallery. So make sure that's there. And then OK. And here we can close this one. Now we come right back in here. All right, so now it says insert survey in the blank paragraph at the end of our document. All right, so we're just going to bring our insertion point right over in front of that blank paragraph. We're going to go to our insert tab, our text group, click on that quick parts gallery button, and then you'll notice that your survey is going to be right here. Click it it'll automatically insert it right in there. All right, now the next step, the final step, is change the bullet to a check mark. So we're just going to come over here, click on one of those bullets, Home tab. In your paragraph group, we're going to select that little More Options by the bullets. Oh, mine closed. All right, so when you're going to select that, so when you select that more options next to the bullets, um, actually, so when you select that, you're going to select that more options, and then in that little list, there's going to be a check mark option. There's going to be several different built-in bullet styles. You're going to click on that little check mark option, and then that's it then save it and then that should be ready to submit. I am going to go ahead and open it back up. So let's go open. It 
sorry about that again that's one of the bad things about my using it on my personal computer is that there's something wrong with that bullet option right now so here's my SAM all right so let's go down here so that's what that bullet is going to look like and again so and I don't know if I can click on it yeah it's going to close it again um, but that's going to be the, the little check mark is going to be one of those built-in bullets you're going to save it and then once you've got that saved you can come back over to your where you're going to submit it and then module 5 this is going to be project A and then I can just show you I'm going to upload it uh, 5A number 2 write file submit view my report and 100% so 10 out of 10 and you can see there's no red over here so we know that we completed all the tasks correctly and if you take a look every one of the tasks on this assignment is actually worth points there's a lot of a, a lot of the assignments that we do in SAM that aren't worth any points you know you'll see them some red up here at the top but it'll say zero of zero zero of zero zero of zero you'll notice that all of these tasks are actually worth about just about 10% of your grade. All right, so you just want to make sure you get all of those ones completed correctly. All right, and that's it. That one should be good to go, 10 points.